Well, we finally made it home with our beautiful Kinsey here. We're just backing this up and hopefully get all this stuff put away finally. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'm gonna back this up. I'm trying to figure out the best area to unload this Kinsey at. Probably right here. It's amazing how it took me so long. And the other trucker already got all that stuff put over there and basically hauled here. Let's see, uh, let's uh, run this hydro, let's run this bed down. Alright, there we go. Slide. Careful. Very nice. So I did get the big floater tires for this, so I think I may just put them on right away. Let's shut this Mac off. There we go. Shut that off quickly. And I think I may just get these floaters on right away. But, so now's the big decision. Should we run it with the Versatile 900 or the 8330? That's a tough decision. I think for now I'm going to put it on the 8330. I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to have to put it. You know what? I'm just going to waste the time and I'm going to connect both of them on there just to see which one I like more on the... Which one looks better. You know, it's all about looks. It's not about the performance. Alright, start this up. There we go. We're going to unload it with this just because it's a little bit easier to run this than the articulated tractor. Especially when you don't have much uh, room for air. Let's just say that. So I want to get this out. I want to try to put the big floater tires on there right away. Alright, got everything attached. I don't know why I hooked up uh, the PTO when all I'm going to do is back it into the garage. Ooh, wow. That tire right there almost came off. That is close. Looks like it's majorly uh, compressed in that tire right there. Gonna have to get this off quick. Very carefully. Alright. Oh, stay on there. Yeah, I am just barely running on that one side. There we go. Well, I guess I was had more uh, tire on there than what I thought I did. But, uh, man, it almost came off the side of that trailer, that's for sure. Alright, uh, now we want to back that up into the garage. Let's see. Before I do that, let's see. How does it look? Hmm, doesn't look too bad. I wouldn't mind if this would... I don't know why it doesn't, uh, level out. You see it's kind of down, facing down right there. It would be nice if it leveled out a little bit. That axle's just so high on the back where it kind of doesn't level it out. You know, it'd probably be better if we put it on tracks. We wouldn't have that issue, but I don't know. You know, tracks are a lot of money. So, I guess we're going to have to... Uh, eh, it doesn't look bad. I mean, that's a good looking rig right there. I have to say so. I'm gonna have to move it to the side a little bit so I can get back in my shop. Hopefully I don't hit anything expensive. Ooh, I'm gonna have to cut it sharp so I miss that auger. There we go. Yeah, I kinda got it at a slant. I really wish I could uh, move my fertilizer totes right here they're all in the way so I'm gonna have to move them one of these days all right I'm gonna get that over here try to get the the big floater tires on hmm I'm gonna go pick them up with my uh, skid steer skid steer here start this up we'll go get the tires there quickly Uh, I guess we're gonna have to open up this door. 
don't have my electric opener. Put them right over here on the side of this building. All right, just got to tack these on there. All right, so they are on. Them things are giant, aren't they? Look how big they are. Got a little uh, squat on these tires too. So uh, I think it kind of sits about the same. I don't know if they're designed to run this way, kind of slanted. I always thought they kind of ran straight when you saw them in the field. I don't know why this, is it just because the axle brings it up so high, but it does kind of slant that whole rig, but I think it looks amazing. I mean, the 8330 is a sexy machine there, but uh, might see if I can, uh, how it looks like on the old uh, Versatile. I did get it cleaned up and running, so I hope it starts. I think I'm gonna pull this out. Pull this out, you just have to see how this thing looks on the back of that Versatile. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave this right to the side because we gotta kinda compact, we gotta put a whole bunch of planters and everything into our building here and I wanna move everything around because the planters, we're not gonna need them till next year. So I think I'm gonna get probably the, even the semi-trailer and back that out of here. Ooh, you think this old girl will start? Let's see. <laughs> to both them uh, do a Zoss. That V8 running. Ooh, gotta watch out for my uh, John Deere Moco there. There we go. Man. Love the way this thing sounds like now. This thing sounds like a beast. Oh yeah. We're going the slowest reverse gear we got. Here we go, we'll finally get there someday. Oh man. Oh no. I forgot this doesn't have a PTO. That's not good. Oh wow. Wow, listen. Look at that. I might have to do something about that PTO because look how sexy that looks. I like how it, you can kind of tell that this is in, uh, kind of in line a little bit better. It's still slightly slanted, but it's, it's, it's looking a lot better with that thing. And, ooh, wow. That's impressive. Man, I'm so upset. I can't believe I forgot this doesn't have a PTO. This thing would have been a great freaking team right there give our uh, versatile old versatile something different to do other than just uh, fall and spring tillage and listen to that thing this thing just has so much horsepower too it just purrs it all right we're gonna get this out of the way I think I'm gonna move my pellets around here just I just want a little bit more room so beans most of the seed we do, we do have some leftover seed I still have to return this to the seed company oh I'm gonna lose mine but uh, I think I'm gonna move the seed over to right here now I'm gonna move these pallets kind of over just slightly so that way I can still I can kind of get I have more more of my shop back all right I have that seed over I'm gonna go over here to my planting trailer I have another pallet left over there before I forget about this thing that's why if it's in my front of my face I remember it I can remember to return it yeah see it's on the back of this trailer I need to 
get it off there. Oh man, this pallet's backwards. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get rid of these pallet forks. Uh, they're not long enough, so and they're kind of hard to use, so they kind of they destroy the pallet. So these are my adjustable ones. See how they move back and forth? So they work a lot better than the other ones. So that way if you kind of get in a hard area or something, you can always adjust them in. Just like so. Man, this, I'm going to have to move the sensitivity around with this thing. Alright, I'm just going to push this one in a little bit. So I have a little bit more clearance on my door. There we go. Finally, done with that. Alright, so I'm going to leave these pallet forks because I have to go get my hitch. Leave these right here. There we go. Automatic detachers. Awesome on this thing. Alright, so I'm going to go... Oh, yep, there's my hitch right over here. Here you should see that's a nice little hitch. It's even a lockable hitch. So a lockable ball that is. So it even has a little footstep so you can get back into your uh, skid steer. But this thing works great on getting stuff in them tight areas. That's for sure. That's what we're going to use to uh, move our uh, drill back in there. Hopefully. Hopefully this uh, old skid steer has enough in its tank to uh, be able to move that drill. Let's see. Run over here, come on. Always seems like in skid steers, man, you're going to like the full speed everywhere you go. Probably because they go so slow. Alright, got it hitched up there. Ready to go. Make sure the hydro... Oh, there's something wrong with them cylinders right there. That's not good. But we are lifted up. Alright, best thing to learn when you're backing stuff up is everything's backwards. I cannot really see anywhere where I'm going because I'm so low. There we go, we got a turn. It's really hard to see out of this thing. Holy cow. Alright, we're going now. I can kind of almost see. I kind of have to jump up just to see over the top there. Wow, yeah. Barely see anything. Oh, oh, that is a little pothole right there. Gonna have to fill that in with some rock. We'll keep going. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got enough clearance. Uh, we could have went a little bit farther back, but that's good enough. We have enough room for that sprayer trailer. Ooh, yeah, that trailer would be hard to get into, but I think it'll have enough room. Alright. That is done. So now we need to uh, fire up our uh, 2388 and undo that, uh, get that corn head off that trailer. Leave this parked underneath the shade tree. Not much of a shade tree, but it'll have to do for now. Fire this beast up. Ooh. Starts up good. Doesn't give you the best start up, I know, I know. But, uh, that's the best sounding startup when it starts up. Doesn't, uh, hard start all the time. But them hard start, man, do they sound good, though. Like my 4620, that thing is a beast. Love starting that thing up. Pop these down. Alright, we're hitched up. Alright, this is good. I wonder... Can I get this eight row through my uh, door right here? We're gonna see, does it fit? Yeah, eight row fits. Ain't no 12 row gonna fit right there, but eight row fits. All right, so I want this thing right where that uh, sassy massy is. All right, we are good, there we go. I think I'm gonna use this for the baler. I'm gonna have to take that trailer back though here pretty soon. They've been bugging me about it. Gotta make sure uh, I don't hit that auger. Ooh, that's pretty close right there. All 
Oh yeah, just barely, just almost touching the, the rubber on the end of it there. Just barely. All right, we're gonna take this over here. I love having dual hitches on this thing like it does. So I just lower this down. Oop, got a little bit too going on that reverse gear. Hook that up, there we go. Alright, so now we can pull it. Just like so, watch out for the flower bed. Man, that thing looks good together. Might have to think about putting a PTO on that old versatile. It's not an easy task to do, that is not easy. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to move one of these tractors. Come on. There we go. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Fire up one of these things. It scares you a little bit because you don't think it's gonna fire up, but it sure does sound good. Alright, just pull this just barely out. I want to back it right back in. Alright, I'm gonna put this hitch down really quick. Alright, now I'm gonna swap so I don't have to worry about turning around backing up. Got a hitch right on front here. There we go that right there see that is the hitch so we got this little three-point adapter here it doesn't even have a, a PTO on it so and, and it has hydraulics so it's a hydraulic driven PTO shaft kind of nice little option here to just run on the front of your loader lift up that hitch a little bit this thing is a lot easier to back up than that uh, skid steer, just because that skid steer is a zero turn. You can really feel this thing backing up. So, to me it's easier to back up with one of these front wheel uh, steer tractors. Alright, now you just lower it, unhitch this. Now that's all good, it'll probably stay here for a couple years until we really need it. But I tell you what, for the as good as prices we got on it, couldn't let it go for a backup baler, that's for sure. I guess I probably could uh, back that uh, Kinsey. Now, oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta take that trailer back. Alright, yep, gotta do that first. Before the dealership starts getting met on me. Let's fold this trailer back up here. There we go. All right, start the Mac up. Yeah, run this to the John Deere dealership really quick and then I'll be back. All right, hit it on back here. So got that dropped off. They only complained a little bit because you know, I had it for like a day longer than what I should have. So hopefully that means I could still borrow it, but I kind of doubt it now that uh, I uh, didn't do as they asked. Let's just say that. Alright, I think I'm gonna hitch this directly to the trailer. Here we go. Hook this right up there. Alright, that team is good to go. I think I'll probably just use this. I will have to take this and put this in basically the shop and just run over it really quick just before harvest all right that's done now I can uh, put my draper head in there so I can kind of look at that that's what we're gonna need first anyways for harvest Ooh, I gotta back it up a little bit I'm too far ahead here all right I'm hitched up now 
These things are not easy to back up, so this is a nice old Case IH header here, so I'm hoping uh, everything works good and uh, I don't have any major issues. Alright, pulling it back here, backwards. I don't know if this has uh, much convenient because you still have to uh, look around to the back of you here. Make sure I'm not going to hit anything. You know, most important thing is get it as straight as possible without running into a tree. Oh. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. No sudden movements. There we go. Ooh, I'm just going to barely miss that. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I said about sudden movements? I'm not really following that very well. These things are definitely not easy to reverse, that's for sure. Is this called reversing or is this called a uh, forward assist? Ooh, really close to that door right there. I don't know. I, I don't know. Is this considering reverse? If one tractor's going forward, but the implement's going in reverse, so that would be reversing or just backing up. I don't know. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get with this tractor anyways. So I can get all the way around it and look at it. Speaking of which, I wish I had enough time to possibly look at this thing before harvest. We're gonna have to uh, hopefully find some time, but it, it needs a lot of components that aren't easy to find. Let's just say that. All right, I'm gonna back up the Kinsey, get it in here, and then uh, 8330. Listen to this beast start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's America power there. Really got to rev this thing up so we go uh, at least a decent speed reversing. Otherwise, you don't hardly get anywhere. All right, almost got it there. There we go. Probably should have pulled that sprayer out. I'm still gonna need it. Oh well, it's too late now. It's already backed up. Ooh, I'm a little bit tight right there. Wow, I'm glad I didn't pop that tire. I'm gonna have to get over a little bit. All right, it's unhitched. That might be the last time this versatile and the Kinsey get together here. All right, back this up in the slowest gear possible. Not by choice, just because I can't get it into a higher reversing gear. Just got the one gear. Slow, slow. That'll do. We have enough room for the 83? Yeah, oh yeah, we got enough room for a basketball game right here. Plenty of room. All right, back this thing up. There we go. Wow, did I touch my mocha over there? It looks a little slanted. Hopefully not. There we go. Hook this up here. This is really convenient on this moco just because uh, you need a two-point hitch there you go look at that we can even mow from the front from the loader tractor there PTO is even hitched up all right this makes it nice and easy this way we can see everything what we're doing right in front of us all right unconnect that quickly there we go got that unhitched Everything's looking good. So, got this barn about full. Now, we just need to go and uh, tear apart our uh, 2388 and headers. And uh, probably need to look at our truck and our Kinsey. Make sure we are ready to go for harvest. But thank you all for watching. And I'm going to see you later over here in Missouri. Make sure you 
smash that like button. It really helps me out, and it's really easy to do. It doesn't cost you a thing. Later, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.